Three Guyanese businessmen, gold miner Andron Alfonso of ZRN Investments Inc., Azruddin Mohammed of Hadi's World Incorporated, and Nicholas Degu Boyer of National Hardware Ghana Limited, joined to form a consortium known as NRG Holdings. And through this consortium, with an international maritime company known as Jande Nul, a new 300 million US dollar shore based facility at Vredenhoop is being constructed to support construction works needed by ExxonMobil Guyana for its Yellowtail and subsequent development projects. President of ExxonMobil Ghana, Alistair Rutledge, at the contract signing on Friday, explained that this new facility will bring more work to Guyana. Two heavy uh, load. Uh, load um, birthing points, much more capacity to do more construction and assembly work in country that will truly be a springboard for the Yellowtail and future projects to increase local content for what we do in the oil and gas industry in the country. The startup of the Yellowtail project, Rutledge said previously, is expected to begin in late 2025 and is anticipated to produce 250,000 barrels of oil per day from the one Ghana floating, production, storage and offloading vessel that would be able to store up to 2 million barrels. The shore base went through a competitive bidding process to secure the contract from ExxonMobil Guyana. An NRG Holdings partner, Nicholas Degu Boyer, said that this shore base will come in stream by the fourth quarter of 2023. Because this, again, sorry to sound like a broken record, increases your local content, brings down commercial shipping costs, and creates an industrial area for service companies to spring up and to do more local content. And that's what this is for us. The local businessman said the project was receiving no financial support from Ghana's government, noting that a wider shore-based development pegged at 600 million US dollars is expected. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Vishani Raghavir.